Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the children's class of the Spiritual Society of Virginia on Kardec Radio and Kardec Radio for Kids. Tonight, we have a very special lesson about embracing our differences, that is, understanding our differences, accepting our differences. This is a special lesson on equality. So let us call our most beautiful teacher to inspire us, shall we? Yes, let us invite Master Jesus to come along by praying. Let us then, dear friends, if we can, close our eyes so we can listen to the voice of our hearts. And let us ask our best teacher, best friend, and big brother Jesus to teach us how to embrace differences, how to accept the friends, the people we know who are different from us, how to understand that everyone around us is a child of God and everyone is loved by God in the very same way. Teach us, Master Jesus, to see one another, including plants, minerals, and animals, as our brothers and sisters in humanity. We thank God and you, Master Jesus, for guiding our big human family. We pray that we can help you and help our human family by bringing more love into this world and by embracing differences, accepting differences and understanding differences. Please, Master Jesus, God and Garden Angels, teach us how, not only now, but every day of our lives. Thank you and so be it. Yes, dear friends, we feel more empowered, better prepared to learn more now that we know that we have Master Jesus and our garden angels as a helping hand. We can always count on them. Let us then practice embracing, accepting, understanding differences by finding similarities. Many of us may be good at finding differences. You know that game where we look for differences? Right now, we are going to play a different game, find similarities. Are you ready, friends? Here we go. Can you see similarities between this beautiful flowers and the tree right next to it? Hmm, what could the similarity be? Oh yeah, we got it. They both have leaves. So even though they look very different, they still have many things in common. Let us find more similarities, friends. How about this beautiful little butterfly and the bird? Cute little bird, right? We love to see them fly and that's it. We got it. A similarity between them is that they have wings. They can both fly. Isn't it fun to find similarities? Let us do one more. How about this three? Children, what may they have in common, dear friends? Oh, yes, of course, they all have a physical body. 
And if we go to the doctor and get our physical body examined, we learn that we all have the same muscles, the same internal organ, that our hearts are shaped the same, that we all have a brain, a nose, a mouth. Wow, so many similarities. It's exciting, right? Now we know a brand new game that we can play, finding similarities. And why is it so beautiful and important and empowering to find similarities? Because although, dear friends, we have different abilities and we like different things, for instance, some of us like running, some of us like playing instruments, some of us like writing. So although we may have different abilities, we all have one very important thing in common. We are all created equal and we are all loved by God. Before God and for God, we are all his children. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, so now we can take that comforting truth to heart. We and everyone we know is both loved by God and is a child of God created equally by God. So thank you, God, for your love. And yes, dear friends, now that we know that one, God loves us just the same, that for God we are all his children and God made the decision to love us the same and create us in the same way to the point that inside of our physical bodies we are all the same. It becomes easier for us to be open-minded, to find more similarities than differences amongst us whenever we look more for similarities than for differences we are more tolerant we are better able to be patient and kind to one another because we don't feel the need to push them aside we don't feel scared we don't feel threatened by those who may look different or behave differently on the outside because we know that inside of our hearts we are all the same and are all beloved by God. And when we learn this, we can progress together because we can continue to help and support one another just as if we were part of the same big family, one brother and one sister helping each other, giving each other a helping hand. What a beautiful proposal, right? Scott, Julia, and Stella, right, Virginia? Welcome, friends. And now we invite you to watch a movie where other children show us how to look for similarities amongst differences. Enjoy, friends. Her cupcake smaller than mine. Yeah. Did you do uh, a better job? I think that's because she's younger and people could just assume that she didn't do a good job. The only reason why you got a bigger cupcake is because you're taller than her. That's not fair, that's not right to do, and that you should give everyone an yeah, equal cupcake. Yeah, everybody 
potential being kind of like equal. Yeah, I mean, like height doesn't matter and it doesn't prove anything good. Yeah. What could we do to make it right? Well, I mean, if we didn't have another cupcake like this, Maybe share it. Just... Or if we do have another cupcake, give it to them. Talk to the person and say, like, that's not right and that you should be giving everyone an equal chance. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you notice anything? That one's bigger than that one. This one's smaller than that one. Right? And do you know why? Do you think it's fair? Did, did he do a much better job that you he deserves a bigger one? I'm not sure. I don't feel The only reason why you got a bigger piece is because you're a boy and she's a girl. That's unfair. I don't think that's fair and I don't think it's right. Do you know the term, what we call this, if someone is treated differently? Racist. Discrimination. Or in this case, it would be sexism. What would be a solution to this? Replacing the small one with the big one. For example, yes. To make it fair. Or giving a small one. Mine is smaller and his is bigger. Um, he could be giving away random, but like, he, he's bigger than me, meaning that, and meaning that he has a bigger stomach. Mm. That's not exact, that's not an insult, that's not an insult, <laughs> and, and I have a smaller stomach, and he, yep, that, that, right. I get, get the idea. But if this is like your reward to the task, you did, would it make sense? Um, no, because he did the exact same task, and it wasn't exactly different. It was equal, I mean, I, I mean like, doing this and this. Why would anybody do any better? What if I told you it's just because you're white? Um, sort of racist. That's called racist. So what would be the solution in this situation? What would we do? Um, to have the exact same size and for the cupcakes. Whoa! Is that vegan? It is. Good. Did you see what Elise did that? Nice, it's smaller, but I got the bigger one. What if I told you that the only reason Silas got a bigger piece is because you're a girl? I got lucky. I don't think that's fair. Because sometimes another person gets bad. What's the solution if it's unfair? That you get the same piece? Same size? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll get you a same size. Ooh, yeah. Do you notice something? Yeah. That one's small. And that one's small. The only reason why you got a smaller one is because she's white and you're not. Would that be fair? No. What would be the solution in this situation? If we get an equal package, either I got his, but they were both the same, or he got one of mine. The only reason why you got a big one because you're older is is that fair? No. And what, why not? Because she got the bigger one and I just got the small one. It's like she's winning. It's like she got the trophy because she won and I got nothing because I lost. Do you know what discrimination means? Oh yeah. 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 What is um like that's kind of like bad or like it's not fair? What would be a solution to fix this? We can share. Like we can like cut in half or something. Or you or you can just give her a small one. Oh. Uh, now, do you notice anything different? The size. The size difference. Do you think that's fair? No. That's okay. That's okay. Only that shape. What if Andres just got a bigger piece because he's older? Is that fair? <laughs> no, that is completely not fair. And you, Andres, do you think just because you're older, you should no. get the bigger piece? No. <laughs> and do you know what discrimination means? Yeah, when you're like racist or not fair to a culture or be. In this situation, what would be the right thing to do? To have the same amount or to, I guess, share it? Exactly. That is really nice. And what we're going to do, Spark, is you deserve the same big piece as Andres, and I'm going to get you a big piece. Okay.
hello to your friends so we are back so we just watched this great video where we saw how sometimes in situations people are treated different because of their difference but as we just heard from miss carol we learn today we are reminded that we are actually all equal we all are created equal by God. That's why instead of looking at the difference between us and others, we should look for the similarities because at the end of the day, we're all the same and we're all equal. Yes, as we saw last week, we might develop different abilities, different abilities for sports, different abilities for music. We might like different things, but that's okay because that complements one another. So then we can live in this beautiful, beautiful planet together, helping one another. Yes, embracing our difference, but knowing that at the end of the day, we all need each other. And at the end of the day, we're all the same because we are children of god so i invite you now to do a fun activity with us today to illustrate this so get a piece of paper and a pen and a pencil and i want you to draw both of your hands yes your fingers if you can draw the shape of your hands in a piece of paper has it it's picture this picture right here friends and i want you to tell me how many similarities you see hmm. so look at your hands friends look at your drawing and look at your hands what are the similarities what do we have in common yes we all have fingers which is great right we need all of our fingers to be able to go through our days to eat, to write, to draw, to take care of our bodies, to take a shower, to help our parents. So we need all our fingers, yes. So that's the similarity between both of our hands. But look a little more careful, friends. Look at the shape of your hands. Does all, are all your fingers the same? Hmm no right they are not they have different sizes right they are all different sizes but that is actually great that's perfect because allow us to pick up things if all our fingers were exactly the same exactly the same we wouldn't be able to close our hands and we wouldn't be able to use our hands to hold things to catch up objects. So that's, friend, just to illustrate for us how important it is for us to be able to embrace, to acknowledge that, yes, we have our difference, but at the end of the day, we're all part of the same, the same universe we're all here together and we need we need one another we need our differences in order to be able to move forward to progress so when we find the next time we see a friend or we see our um brothers or sisters instead of looking at the difference if they are doing something better than you if they have something that you don't or maybe they look different physically than you instead of looking at the difference let us find the similarities as we're doing today looking how we are all at the end of the day equal and we are all the same so we invite you to continue doing this great activity with us throughout the week so using the same drawing that you just did right now with both of your hands in each finger we invite you to draw or write a person from your family 
or a close friend of yours and think about all the similarities from those friends. So in each finger, you can do you can do your brother, your sister, your your best friend, your neighbor. You can choose your mom or your dad, and then you can look at all the things that they have that are the same. They're similar. So friends, enjoy being creative and working this beautiful family heart work. Together, you can invite your parents, you can invite your siblings, and you can all do this together. So, you already know, as you do this beautiful activity throughout the week, we will love to hear from you. We we'll love to see your beautiful drawings because we can learn. We're here to learn with one another. So, send us your drawing, friends. Ask your parents to email us at info at ssvirginia.org and we can't wait to see the beautiful, beautiful drawings that you're gonna prepare throughout the week. And before we go, we have our reminder. Yes, our miraculous art. We heard last week the great news that we are extending the deadline. We have a new deadline, which is now at the end of August, August 31st. So you have some time now to start thinking and doing your art. And it's really, really simple, friends. All you need to do is to watch the Miraculous Ladybug cartoon and make an art, be creative. You can draw, you can write, you can paint. It's up to you, friends, as long as you link the Miraculous Cartoon with a Spiritist keyword, the ones that we have been learning throughout our previous classes. We talk about mind, spiritual connection, influence, obsession, good, evil. Be creative, friends, and we can't wait to see the beautiful arts that you produce. And the great thing is that anyone, everyone who submits their art will receive a great prize. So why don't join in, dear friends? Don't wait until the last minute. Join us and send us your art to our Kardec Radio email, kardecradio at gmail.com. So now, dear friends, before we go, let us thank our dear Master Jesus for this beautiful class as we learn today to embrace one another, embrace our difference instead of looking towards the difference, to look how we are all equal to one another. So we invite now to close our eyes and let us Thank our dear Master Jesus. Dear loving Master, thank you so much for the beautiful lesson of tonight as we learn to embrace ourselves as brothers and sisters, knowing that we are created by God and we are all beautiful children of God. Please, let us continue exercising this throughout the week and throughout our lives to never look to how we're different, but acknowledge that we all have our particularities. We all have our ways, but at the end of the day, we are children of God and we are all the same. So we should Treat one another with respect, with tolerance, and understanding. Thank you so much, dear Master, for this lesson. And we pray for our fellow brothers and sisters, the children who at this very moment might not have the opportunity to learn about this. And there are still have to learn together and maybe through us and through um, our example in how to embrace one another in this beautiful planet Earth. And with your permission, dear Master, we end and we close this class of tonight. 
and so be it. So dear friends, what a great class. We can't wait to see you next week. Remember to continue doing your hard work throughout the week, looking for the similarities between us and our dear friends. And we will see you next week. Bye, friends.